<clears throat> Mic test, can you hear me? Oh, it seems that you can. Hello there, everyone. It's that time of the year again. A jolly occasion, a special moment, in time spent with the people you love and care about. For this Christmas special, I'll be your host. Well, our dear creator chose me to bear this responsibility, and of course, I will deliver. As a special gift for all of you, we've prepared an extra special Christmas program for all of you. I do hope you're all doing well, and hopefully you're all having a grand merry time. <laughs> well then, let's start off with a little treat for you all. This one has a special place in our dear creator's heart, and possibly a lot of you guys. And I truly hope you'll enjoy this first treat of the program. <sighs> do I have to do this? <laughs> yes, you do. Come on, Moon, it's only for a few seconds. <sighs> and where the hell is that other idiot? She said she was hosting something and might be a little late. Hosting what? Uh, this special program? Oh, God, the culprit is the last one to appear. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure she'll get here in time. God, it's only two lines and yet why is it so embarrassing? <laughs> it's for them, right? Think of it as our little thanks to them. I guess so. <laughs> Sorry, oh. darlings. Did you wait long? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just hurry up already. I want to get this over with as soon as possible. Oh, please. I can tell you're looking forward to it, Moon. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not? Just, just hurry up with it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go? <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! From the Sun, Moon, and Venus series, we hope that all of you are having a wonderful time in this festive, festive, very festive occasion. And we hope that things are just going to get better from here on out. Thank you so, so much for all the support you've given to us, the series, the creator, and our channel for the past year. We appreciate you all so, so much, and we can't thank you all enough. We... <clears> hmm? <throat> Go on, baby man. <laughs> we love you all so, so much, and I hope you can continue in this journey of ours in the future. Thank you! We love you guys so, so much. And truly, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, and we love you. Hopefully, we get to celebrate Christmas again next year. <laughs> Okay, since Havi's not here yet, I'll be the one to segue you guys to the next part of the program. Hi hi, it's Hater. <laughs> um, and well, would you look at the timing? It's the bloopers for the recordings I've done. Well, in a sense, it's basically just me molding or laughing at the times I'd stumble on my words while saying the lines. Hopefully though, it'll still be entertaining for you guys. Without further ado, here are some of the bloopers taken from Post-it as well as audios that haven't been posted yet, so there might be a few uh, teasers or spoilers there, so yeah. What the f*** am I doing? <laughs> oh my god! Moo! Moo, it's magnificent! Moverless, mutacular, you have to try this. Oh, come on, it tastes so good! I can't do this anymore! <laughs> Next lie, Lily. I'm gonna go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to calm down. <laughs> okay. Breathe in, breathe out. It's okay, Adrian. You got this. You got this. You got this, okay? It's just. It's just <laughs> <laughs> Move with me, move. La la. Oh, fuck. I can't even speak anymore. This is really bad. Yeah? Moo, yeah? Moo, moo. Oh, I see. What the f What? What? Excuse me, what? Yeah? Moo, yeah? Moo, moo. Oh, I see. She says it's time for milking. I wonder. Fine. What? Milking? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna... 
Okay. I'm gonna cry now, guys. Hey, take that back! Why are you so mean to Sir Coxodil first, second, <laughs> You never listened to me when I tried to explain it to you. Okay. I'm not even crying, I'm laughing, stop. <laughs> Honestly, as much as I care for them, you're the only one I'd kiss like a lot. You can talk to me. <laughs> right now, it's not only because of one event that happened, right? It's a I can't say this word. Accumulative. Okay, sorry. <laughs> not being able to know what happens next. Is that a cat? It's been a while, after all, since we talked to each other. Ouchies. My audio. <laughs> of course I'd spend money on someone that's important to me. It's an investment. La la. My bad. <laughs> of course. I'd spend money on some- What? <laughs> Caught you off guard, right? Did you like my display of affection to you? What? I know how kind you are. You could never hurt a fly even if I were to bat. Is it from the hair products I brought you the other time? <laughs> I'm glad it fits your finger. What? <laughs> I'm glad that it fits your finger. What? I'm just prepared for the. Oh. <laughs> My pretty delight quit. I'm not sure I'll drink it all by myself. Okay? <laughs> You can be rest assured that I'm not shouldering and all on my set. <laughs> fuck. What the fuck? I missed- Where is my line? Huh? She just told me that you were coming with her. Huh? Yeah, you still stay by my side. What? I already told you. No. Oh. I just put the line wrong. God, why did I say I already told you parents? I love you parents. Great, great. I love writing. Oh, fucking car is just ruining my fucking scenes. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Where the f did I stop? I'm gonna cry. Please. Oh my god, these motorcycles are gonna make me fucking mauled so bad. Please let me record properly. It's both our first times experiencing. Experiencing? Wow, I love that for you. To be the flame that burns down anything that dares harm you. Huh? However, I can just come on. Eh? What the f did I just say? And I could tell that she was starting to show her true self now. And I could tell that she was trying to start. What? And I could tell. <laughs> I love being redundant. You were the first one I went to the cinema space before. Oh my god. Let me put on the place. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that was rather interesting. I didn't expect our dear creator to swear that much. Still, those points are what makes her our creator. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, it seems that we'll be having a special guest. Or three. <laughs> Why do I always have to put up with your antics, V? <laughs> but of course, Moon, we're best friends, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Or are you lonely because she's not here with us? D just shut up! Don't worry, baby Moon, I'll be here to entertain you instead. I don't need it. And why do you have to go with you specifically, huh? Oh, Miss Serafina, you should ask that to our dear creator, not me. Well, she's not exactly that easy to contact, you know, and stop being a smartass. <sighs> I sure do miss my pretty delight. Can you stop reminding me of that? Oh, God, I'm starting to wish she was here too. Oh my. Should I give her a call for you? D shut up! It seems that they're here. Who's here? Oh, baby Moon, you didn't know? You're not the only special guest here. Who else did you force into this? Hey, no. It wasn't me this time. Can you just stop teasing me and let's just go meet the- Oh. oh. Well, aren't you a feast for the eyes? Uh, hey. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Please do feel at home. <laughs> Hello there, both of you. I don't think we've introduced ourselves yet. Uh, oh, yeah. Would you like to start, Miss Serafina? Oh, 
Uh, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, my name's Serafina, but you can just call me Sarah for short since it's annoyingly long. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Oh, wow. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm V. V? Just V? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I prefer people to call me that since it's easier. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, V. Why does it seem like you have the same aura as- Oh, oh my. So your name also starts with a V. What a coincidence. It indeed does. I assume that yours start with a V as well. <laughs> yes, you can call me Farah, Miss V. Oh, please. A V is fine, Farah. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> what is this tension? She's at it again, isn't she? <sighs> oh, you're... Oh, sorry. I'm Moon, by the way. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, nice to meet you, Moon. That's an interesting name, though. You think so? I find it weird. Huh? Kind of feels like my parents just looked up and just went with the first thing they saw. And that's... The Moon, apparently. Oh, that and their naming sense is just weird, I guess. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty cool. Named after the Moon, though. I guess so. Well, Serafina sounds pretty majestic, to be honest. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's complicated sometimes. Oh, come. Cool. Well, in the first place, it's too long. That's why I prefer people to call me Sarah. And second, it just stands out too much. Hmm, it does feel like I'm looking at a mirror. Quite intriguing. Oh, <laughs> really? I'd say the same, however. That's only in terms of our personalities, no? Of course. You're gorgeous, V. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't sell yourself short, Vera. You're quite the looker yourself. I do wonder if you're in a relationship, though. <laughs> if you count flings, there are plenty. Oh, my. You do that as well. I used to. I stopped altogether, though. Have you found someone, perhaps? I long since found her. I just didn't try anything since it doesn't seem like I had a chance. You? Not having a chance? That's impossible. Oh, believe me. It seemed that I didn't. <laughs> You should have pushed regardless. You seem to know a lot, Vera. <laughs> I was scared at first, too, but... I'm assuming she was the one who pushed instead. <gasps> I'm surprised you got to that conclusion. <laughs> That's because I'm the same. That just means we're both hopeless flirts. Yes. <laughs> it seems that we are. I don't mind not being big, though. I would. Oh, I wouldn't stand down without a fight. But then again, I'm a coward myself. But I'm still selfish in the field of love. I see. I'd be fine just seeing them happy, even if it's not with me. I couldn't bear that. <laughs> I guess that's what makes us both different. <laughs> you could say that. You'd rather sacrifice your happiness for theirs? Is that it? Of course. That's not fair for you, though, isn't it? I don't really mind. <laughs> still, you should be more selfish, V. That's quite the difficult task. They'd like it as well, seeing as they're loved so much. I already love them so much. I can see that, but you should also try to care about your own happiness. At least fight back. I'll try. Oh, dear me. I can tell you're putting on a mask, V. <laughs> oh, really? I used to be an expert on that, after all. Not until. I didn't have to anymore. After meeting her. Well, that person must be something else. Very much so. You really should hang out sometime. Oh, I'd love that. But you don't mind if I bring my pretty delinquent, don't you? <laughs> of course not. You're free to do so as you please. Splendid. Oh. Oh my. Is there something that matter, Vera? Oh. Sometimes she has a tendency to be this careless. It seems I have to go. Oh dear, is it urgent? My pretty delinquent date expired breath. Did she eat a lot? Well, she has quite the appetite, so I assume she ate the whole pack. You should take her to a doctor just in case. That was my intention. My apologies that our talk got cut short. I really do want to chat more, but it seems that my pretty delinquent needs me right now. Is she panicking? She's calm for now, but I'll make sure to comfort her if she ever does. I should go fetch Miss Serafina as well. <laughs> Thank you for the talk, Vera. I enjoyed your company a lot. Likewise, it's nice to talk to someone that feels like another version of you. <laughs> I second that. Oh, then. Please excuse me. Wait, you play that game too? <laughs> yeah, I just pulled an all-nighter last time trying to speedrun it because I had a lot of stuff to catch up on after- oh. Oh. I need to leave. Oh? This early? My pretty delinquent date expired breath. Again? What do you mean again? This has happened multiple times? <laughs> uh, you could say that. Okay, fine. Sorry, Moon, but 
I have to go back with her. No, no, it's it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks for the chat, though. You should invite me to a co-op game next time. Will do, Sarah. Thanks for the chat as well. All right. See you later, Moon. Please excuse us. Mm -hmm. Take care. Both of you take care as well. Weren't they an interesting pair? Yeah. Isn't their trope kind of similar to ours? I can't deny that. <laughs> but still, it was fun talking to them. Hopefully we can meet up again soon. Mm. Oh, did you actually have fun for once, baby moon? Just, just shut up! I just... Uh, just felt like I was seeing double earlier because of how similar the two of you are. <laughs> <laughs> I could say the same. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <clears throat> well then, back to the program. Wait, should I still be here? Yes. Okay then. For the next one in line, you'll be having a Christmas special from, well, probably some of you have guessed it, Vera and Sarah. Didn't we just meet them earlier? Yes, but this is an entirely different story, Moon, so I'd rather we not break the fourth wall anymore. <laughs> uh Right. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this little present these two pretty ladies prepared for you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Are you still sleepy, my pretty delinquent? <sighs> Did I ever do it? That's good to hear. <laughs> what is it? Mm? Oh, time off from me, not from me. What is that that you're referring to? For a university, you should have told me. You get distracted. <laughs> You're so adorable. I just want to eat you all up again, my pretty delinquent. Oh! Uh, are you blocking my advances? Why does this feel like deja vu? Uh, wait, uh, where are you going? Uh, back to your own room. Uh, my pretty delinquent, let's talk about this. Uh, I... But it's almost Christmas. I know. Oh, my pretty delinquent. Good morning. Would you like a morning kiss? Oh, not even a morning kiss. Mm? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Touching bed. Wait, my pretty delinquent. Oh. I, I was supposed to ask her if she wanted to go for Christmas. Please refrain from making my discomfort your form of entertainment, Miss Erfie. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, sorry. It's just, uh, it's just, uh, really funny to me. I don't understand why she's suddenly acting like this. Uh, did you ever do it again? I, I always ask for her if I'm doing too much, and I don't think she's complained once and yet. <sighs> I didn't expect you to ask me for advice, though. Would you prefer me to ask a relationship expert, then? You do know you can do that, right? You have the money for it. No. You know her well, so it's better if I approach you about this. Uh, that does make sense. So, what's wrong? It's rare to see you bothered like this, Farah. <sighs> that girl really just loves to extract such reactions from me. You make it seem like you're not human. Possibly. Uh, you're scaring me. 
I'm simply jesting with you, Mr. Afina. Honestly, I'd believe you if you were serious. That's not the issue right now. The issue is, it's December 20. And? She said there was a touching bed for 10 days. Uh, that's not good. <sighs> Tell me about it. That means that even during Christmas, I won't be able to get my hands on her. And I plan to make it as special as possible, but now with the way this is going, it just feels like an unreachable dream. Okay, okay, calm down, Vera. It's not the end of the world. I'm sure she has her reasons for why she said that. She won't even talk to me. Oh, God. I never thought I'd see the day where Vera would be depressed about something. Oh, it's not something. It's about someone, Miss Serafina. And that someone is my pretty delinquent. <sighs> Talk about character development. What was that? Nothing. I'll try talking to her, okay? Wait. She still talks to you? Yeah, we talked not too long ago. Did I perhaps do something wrong? Hey, hey, it's going to be okay. Oh god, it feels like I can see a cloud form on top of her head. <sighs> Please do talk to her for me, Miss Serafina. I would appreciate it a lot. And I will compensate you handsomely. What? I don't need your money, Vera- I meant in terms of little birdie's baby photos as well as childhood photos. Deal. <laughs> Good. I'll be going now. Thanks for hearing me out. Honestly, this idiot couple. But... Prim Princess's baby photos. I wonder what she'd look like. Probably as adorable as she does right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, just, you just got here. I didn't even hear you. Hey, it's okay. Stop apologizing. Maybe I was just daydreaming for too long. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come here. Can I have a hug? <laughs> Nothing beats a good, warm hug from your fiancé. What? Am I wrong? <laughs> Didn't we exchange our vows? But we promised to be together forever. <laughs> oh, we're so adorable. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'll propose to you in a more special way. Don't worry. So wait for me, okay? It won't be too long from now, so I'll be giving you a little heads up. <laughs> I love you too, Prim Princess. <laughs> oh my. It seems that you two are having a jolly time over there. Vera? What are you doing here? I went back since she wasn't there anymore. Uh... Oh, wait, she went home already? Yes. Without you? It seems I've put myself in a precarious situation. What? Well, my fiancé is avoiding me, little birdie. Yeah, her fiancé. Fiancé? Did I not tell you? You didn't? Uh, I must have forgotten. My apologies. <gasps> How could you forget an important detail, hello? I'm simply not in the right mind, Miss Arafina. I guess you have a point, but for her to even leave you like this... That's really odd. Maybe I should just book a hotel room to give her some space. Vera, I don't think that's a good idea. Then what do you suppose I do? If I go home, she's going to end up avoiding me, and that's only going to worsen my thought process. So I'd rather avoid that, Miss Serafina. To think of a solution, I have to be in the best state I possibly can. Still, there's no need for concern, Miss Serafina. I'll send her a message that I'll be attending an urgent business, and won't be coming home for a while. For a while? Yes. It's for the best. You could at least talk it out. I tried. She won't even meet my eye, Miss Serafina. Vera, it's painful to see her like this, but I trust her. There must be a reason. I'll talk to her. I'd appreciate that, but please, don't force her if she doesn't want to. I wouldn't want to make her even more uncomfortable. I'll talk to her right now. Right now? Yeah, I'm going to visit your apartment right now. Hey. <laughs> I'll be right back, Prim Princess. Don't worry. As her childhood friend, I need to talk some sense into her. This isn't how she should treat you, Vera. She has her reasons. Still, 
She should at least tell you the reason. I'll be right back, okay? Broom princess. Can you stay with Vera for the meantime? <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're suddenly acting in a mature manner, so I was taken aback. What do you- I'm not the only one who changed here. Sh shut up. Would you like to accompany me for a while, little birdie? Okay, I'll be going now, Miss Serafina. Yeah? Thank you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Where is she? Is she not home? Should I just call her? Oh, this dumbass. Oh, oh. Wait, you just got home? Doing what? Okay, fine. We need to talk. Yes, right now. Why do you need to be somewhere? Did something happen? Okay, something definitely happened. Okay, let's just go inside for now. No, you're not talking your way out of this. Come on. Okay. Let's get straight to the point. Why are you avoiding Vera? Do you not realize how much you're hurting her right now? You even left her alone today. And then I find out you're engaged now. What? Where? 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 Why did you not tell me? And yet you're treating her like this. Just... Just tell me why you're avoiding her. What is it? What do you mean you didn't know? It's fine, you don't need to apologize. The pressure? Could you elaborate on that? Yeah? What about her social standing? Mm hmm. Huh? Part time? Where? As long as it's not something shady. Okay, go on. Ugh. So you're avoiding her because you don't want to get caught doing part time because you wanted to surprise her with a ring on Christmas? You know, it really had faith in you, but. You really are dumb, aren't you? <laughs> you should have talked to her about this, you dumbass. Do you realize how much she's worrying about the situation right now? I can't say I'm surprised that you don't know since you're as dense as osmium at this point. Besides that, God, how could you be so- <sighs> Okay. Vera has been worrying about it a lot. She keeps thinking she did something wrong to you and that's why you're avoiding her. Then tell her that! I'm pretty sure communication helps a lot in a relationship. Oh god, you too sure are a troublesome couple. Oh yeah, you sure didn't. Your intention is good, but the way you're approaching this is the worst way you possibly could. You're fine. She trusts you nonetheless. I could tell how much she loves you, and the way she's reacting to this is better than I expected, to be honest. He's being considerate. That's what I mean. She didn't even want to go back home because she thought he'd be uncomfortable having her around. She wanted to give you some time because she thought you needed it. Talk to her, give her a call, tell her to go home because I sure as hell won't do that. Just talk. You promised at least that much to each other, didn't you? Right. Good luck. Hmm? <laughs> No problem, just try not to get to that point in the future again. See ya. Yes? What is it? My pretty delinquent? Hmm? Would you like me to go home? Okay. I'll be there in a while. I'm back. Hmm? 
what's wrong? Oh, no, of course not. Why would you assume that I shed tears? It's probably an allergic reaction to the food I ate earlier. I'm okay. Don't worry. It's getting late. We should head back to bed. Yes? What is it, my pretty delinquent? Hmm? Oh. Uh, sorry. Am I too close? My apologies. Maybe I have wronged you in some way, but... I do hope you could share in what way I did to make you act like this towards me. <laughs> I'll keep my distance from you, if that's what you wish. My pretty delinquent- <laughs> This isn't what it looks like. My pretty delinquent. My pretty delinquent. You don't need to force yourself to do this. It's not your fault. Please don't apologize. Don't say that. That. I. I didn't cry because of you. My pretty delinquent. You're okay. You're okay. Go on. Let it out. I could tell you've been stressed these past few days. I always look at you after all. Even if you haven't been looking at me, it's okay. I'm okay. What you're feeling right now is much, much more important. It must have been tough, right? You did well. And you're doing great. There you go. There, there. You can hold on to me. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. Don't worry. If you look at me with that expression, I won't be able to stop myself from kissing you. I... <laughs> As long as I have you, nothing else matters. I love you, and I fell in love with you, not with anyone else. I love you because you're you. You don't need to do anything else. All I wish is for you to be here with me. That much is enough for me. If there's anything that's making you worried, don't hesitate to tell me. I don't care what it may be. If it's making you worried, I want to know about it. I want to do my best to help you with it. Didn't we promise to communicate with each other? Did you forget? <laughs> You're so forgetful. Can you tell me what's bothering you? Take your time. I'll be here for you. Anytime. Welcoming you in open arms. 
if my warmth helps you in any way, I won't hesitate to give you my assistance. I love you, my pretty delinquent. <laughs> Cute. Hmm? Oh, a part-time job. For? Oh, you wanted to save for something. That's okay. I mean... As long as you're not overworking yourself and not working for a dangerous company, then. I don't see what the problem is. You chose it yourself, right? I won't stop you. <laughs> That's fine with me. But... <laughs> Let me squeeze those little cheeks of yours. <laughs> you told me not to shoulder everything myself, and yet who's doing the exact same thing? <laughs> Honestly, you're so... You really are a handful, aren't you? But that makes both of us so... You can depend on me as much as you can, and as much as you want. I don't mind. I don't care about what other people say. Nothing will change the fact that you're the sole person who made my once dull and colorless world turn into something worth living for. Outsiders' opinions don't matter to me. My father and I will be by your side if they ever oppose us. Trust me, okay? Don't worry. We're both in this together, aren't we? <laughs> so let me... How oh, shall I have these words away? Please. I'll take full responsibility. <laughs> That's my pretty delinquent. <laughs> Delinquent, say ah. Uh. <laughs> Come on, ah. Uh. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Oh, are you feeding me as well? <laughs> How cute. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you know, it's great and all that you two have finally made up, but um, can you at least not pretend that we're not here? I forgot. Oh god, honestly, it's Christmas and yet you're both just in your own little world. Are we supposed to be enjoying this together? Even I want to do that! <laughs> and the truth comes out. But it's so embarrassing, but I... Huh? Uh, Prim Princess? If you act that irresistibly cute, I might just lunge at you right now. Oh god! Okay. Here. Say, ah. Uh. Oh god, she looks like a cute hamster munching on her food. Miss Serafina, your thoughts are leaking. Huh? Uh, I said that out loud. Mm hmm. All of us heard it. Oh, well, fuck. A language, Miss Serafina. <sighs> fuck it. Prim Princess, come here for a sec. <laughs> I'm guessing she couldn't take it anymore. I'm borrowing her for a bit, okay? It doesn't she already belong to- Shut up! Anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Since we're the only ones here at the moment, can I? <laughs> Merry Christmas, my pretty delinquent. I love you. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Hmm? What is it? Oh, a ring. Don't tell me. This was the something that you were saving up for? <laughs> you really are unfair. 
can you put it on me? Even though I really didn't have to. Didn't we agree to buy our wedding rings together, though? <laughs> Thank you. I love it. You work so hard for this. I'll treasure it forever. The price doesn't matter. It's priceless to me, and I'll cherish it and protect this forever. Because it's from you. <laughs> but, although we promised to pick out our wedding rings, and even though we are technically engaged now, I still went out to get us our engagement rings. <laughs> I can't help it. I wanted us to have the same rings. To symbolize that we belong to each other now. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you how much I love you. <laughs> I love you, my pretty delinquent. And I'm truly happy from the bottom of my heart that I get to spend my whole life with someone as wonderful as you. Thank you so much for everything. I love you. <laughs> And let's spend all the upcoming holidays together as well. Merry Christmas, my pretty delinquent. <laughs> well then, shall we continue? <laughs> Don't worry. <sighs> They're probably doing their own thing now. And we're free to do so as we please. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... I don't think I can hold back anymore. They're probably in their own world right now, besides. This is our own room, so... Can't I? You're not forcing yourself, are you? It just feels like I'm the only one that's like this sometimes. Sorry. Maybe I'm pressuring you- oh! Prim? Princess? Yes? What's wrong? <coughs> Prim? Princess? Did you just give me a... Is there something wrong? Oh? Talk to her. Who are you talking about? Oh, that idiot. I did? I had to talk some sense into her since I felt bad for Vera. <laughs> Are you jealous? <laughs> Do you see this? Well, what does this ring mean, I wonder? Didn't we promise? Jeez, even though you bit me so much that night? <laughs> you can't do much more and I still wouldn't mind, you know? I'm serious. I belong to you, and you only. I'm yours, and you're mine. That's what we promised when we exchanged vows, right? So, have faith in me too. Don't worry. I understand how it's like to feel that way, since I do too. I went to that party just for you, after all, remember? That was my own jealousy that caused me to do that too. Don't worry. I'll only ever look at you like that. No one else. Only you. <laughs> Do you really want to go back when I'm like this already? I can't hold back when I'm with you, Prim Princess. We'll get back to them when we're done. Please. I don't mind. You can mess me up as much as you like. <laughs> or are you too much of a coward to do so? 
Are you scared they might hear us? Hmm? Oh. I feel the same way. <laughs> I feel the same way, dummy. You're also in my mind 24-7. You help me get through tough days whenever I imagine myself in your embrace. And I always make sure to get home early so that I can spend more time with you. It goes both ways, Prim Princess. I'm crazy about you too. Yes, yes, we really need to regulate it, but today's a festive time, isn't it? Can't we just let loose every now and then? And think about how to handle it after? I'm sure we'll figure it out. For now, though. I really, really want you. <laughs> it's not fair to only let them both have all the fun now. Hmm? We'll figure it out, trust me. We will. I promise. Love is hell of a drug. And we're both addicted to it. But I don't want to stop. Though... Comparing love to a drug isn't a good analogy. <laughs> right? Maybe love is more like vitamins. <laughs> I'm just trying to lighten up the mood from Princess. Did it work? <laughs> I love you. both I let loose tonight. <laughs> Wait, but before that, <laughs> here, hold still, there, <laughs> I knew it, that flower does fit you all. A Merry Christmas, Prim Princess. You don't need to get me anything, having you here is enough, besides, you're about to give me my Christmas gift right now right? Will you? Good. <laughs> That's right. Your princess. <laughs> Serafina, little birdie, it's already noon. Are they asleep? Miss Serafina, little birdie. Oh, it seems that Miss Serafina is awake, though. It's already noon. We were supposed to get breakfast and lunch together. God, we have to. Oh! My legs. Shit. Please do. Thank you, Prim Princess. <laughs> Don't worry. I enjoyed my Christmas present very much. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Prim Princess. Go on, go on. I'll be here waiting for you. <laughs> oh, is Miss Serafina not accompanying us? Oh, I see. No, no, it's quite alright. It seems you went a bit overboard. <laughs> I can understand how it's like. Shall we go? Oh, my pretty delinquent. She could barely stand earlier, so I just told her to rest for the moment. It must be in the chance. <laughs> Let's go buy Friance some food for recovery, shall we? Merry Christmas, the birdie. Was this Christmas fun? That's good to hear. Hopefully we get to have more fun in the next ones. And by that, we'd be married to our lovely wives. <laughs> that depends on you, though. <laughs> 
No need to rush. As soon as you graduate university, <laughs> I'll make sure to arrange it all perfectly. <laughs> Wasn't that perfect for a festive holiday, both wholesome and spicy at the same time. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed their presents. I for one enjoyed being here. It was a lot of fun being here. I almost wish I could stay a bit longer, but alas, everything comes to an end. All I wish for is all of your happiness and that you're all healthy and well. Please take care of yourselves too, alright? Merry Christmas, everyone. Hopefully this festive occasion is treating you all well and you're enjoying it as much as I do. We love you all so, so much. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Before we finish it all up, it seems that the creator has made some sneak peeks for you all. To end it with a boom, here are all the teasers for the upcoming audios that the creator has cooked up for you. <laughs> as promised. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling okay to sit up? Oh, oh what's wrong? Oh, oh, your face is still red. Are you perhaps still under the influence? Oh, it seems your heartbeat is reaching quite the levels there, have you? Have you forgotten how inexplicably inept you are at vigorous physical activity? We're near our destination. I shall carry you back instead. Is it because she is someone I consider as important? I will listen to you anytime, Miss Mara. It was supposed to be my responsibility to protect you, yet you... Do you hate me as well, Miss Mara? I... trust you. Ovia, what should I... This uneasy feeling of anxiousness and fear... Never feel lonely, just tell me and I'll come running at you. <laughs> hey, hey, there's a new cute cafe that opened you here. Do you want to check it out? <laughs> Are you nervous? It tickles if you do that. Look at you getting all flustered. Cute. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll only ever show the selfish side of mine to you and you only. I love you so, so much. <laughs> 